Hello everyone. Today we're going to be looking at my lemon cypress cuttings. And uh, although I guess they are still cuttings, they're really starting to get more miniature tree like. You can see here the there's actually two cuttings in this one pot and the larger one on the left what is now it is its trunk is starting to get more more woody as you can see its trunk used to be a light green when I first planted this cutting with the rest of them and now it is turning a brown color so it is really quickly looking like and in developing into a a young tree now what I want to do with this one is I have to make room now well, let me focus this thing for the little guy here that's growing right beside him so we have to do something with the branches that are kind of crowding it and almost forcing this little guy to to not grow straight they're actually starting to crowd them out so we're gonna have to do something there you can see here from this view we have a larger branch here kind of resting on it up above we have more branches that are overhanging it and kind of keeping some light off of it and you can see here it's growing away from that uh, larger cutting or I guess I can almost call it a tree now because it is uh, getting getting very tree like very quickly so however we got to do something with these branches I've thought about trimming them kind of trimming these branches back and trimming this back up here but there's one thing that's stopping me from just quickly grabbing a pair of scissors and trimming it right now and that is I'm trying to grow not just the plant on top itself but I'm also trying to grow the roots so I'm not just assuming but I can almost definitely know by now that there are roots down there and I would like to continue put as much vigor as I can not just into the into the top of the tree but also its roots and by putting vigor into the roots I've got to keep a lot of my uh, foliage on the top of the tree right now too so without trimming it I thought well what can I do so then I thought well I can kinda maybe get the branches somehow out of the way of the little one there so it could maybe correct itself on the top and continue growing so I have these little sticks so I thought about using this we come in here and if I turn this here maybe you can see what I thought about grabbing a lot of this and just kind of turning it to the side come out a little bit so it doesn't put a lot of pressure on the tree and we'll put that into the, the soil there well, that's that's looking a lot better now we're leaving more space for that tree to grow Now I'm already calling them trees and not <laughs> and not cuttings. The only thing I'm going to do is 
I'm going to get my scissors here, and I think I'm going to just do very minimal trimming. And we'll turn it around here. And I think at the top here, inside here, I think we're going to trim a couple small ones off. There we go. Okay. That kind of opens things up for that little guy there to grow straighter. And also we can get some more growth growing on the other side of them. And that's pretty much all the work we're doing with this, with this tree here. If this was an older tree, much more mature at least, I would, uh, I would do some trimming on this, especially near the bottom. And I would actually be removing um, a number of these bottom branches. But right now, like I said, I want to put a lot of vigor into the tree, including the roots. And uh, get it really strong. And this spring, I'm going to wait till the spring. I was going to originally try to take this out and repot it. I was going to do that probably about maybe a month ago or two months ago when I thought that there could be roots there already. But uh, since then I've, I've changed my mind. Um, the soil that it's in is just uh, soil from my garden. However, it is quite sandy. And uh, it, uh, it drains very well. And the cuttings are doing very well in these this soil right now still. So I'm not going to be touching it until the spring. I think in the spring we'll pull it out. Um, I won't be doing a lot of root pruning on it, and I still won't be doing much pruning with the uh, cuttings or small trees now, I should call them, themselves. I'm going to be just kind of leaving them as is for almost another year. We'll see how they look uh, a year from this coming spring. Unless I change my mind, of course. <laughs> we will see what uh, we'll see what it looks like late this spring. Well, that's it for this one, and we'll take a look at the the next one. Okay, so here we are with the next one. Um, this one here, since the last video, uh, it has grown a bit maybe about an inch or so but it hasn't uh, it hasn't grown tremendously as much as the other cuttings however it is it is uh, started off smaller and uh, it could be under uh, more stress than what the other ones are too so again especially with this one here I'm not going to be doing much I will not be touching the little little cutting or future small tree itself right now uh, but what I will be doing is removing some of the moss just from the very base of the cutting here this is about my third or fourth time doing this now since since back in the fall I'm just doing this so that the other little branches that it was planted with 
don't start rotting out near the base. And then start to bring any rot upon our good one, our only one that's left. So you can have a closer look there. We'll call them, uh, I guess we'll call them small trunks for now. So you can see the other small dead trunks that are beside our living one. I just don't want any rot rotting starting to go on around there and also on our last good trunk. So when I water it, it'll uh, kind of dry out quickly around the trunk area there which is kind of what you want anyways. So that'll be all the work that we'll be doing with that one. I just try to keep that uh, keep the base area, the trunk area clear. But the moss just loves to grow. It uh, definitely loves the, the heat, the water, and the fertilizer. Okay, we'll get on with the next one now. Okay, so here's the last cutting. You can see it's grown a fair bit. And we got uh, we got a fair bit of moss in this one here too that has grown. We're not going to do a whole lot on this this cutting. Just a very slight pruning over here because I believe that this branch it looks like a separate cutting because it goes down into the ground, but it eventually would meet up with the main trunk. So I'm not too sure if it started to grow its separate little root system below there or if it is still attached to the main one under the ground. But however I'm going to treat it as a separate cutting now. So I'm going to, like the first one, I'm going to be trimming just a couple of these very small branches off of this larger cutting here and we'll be making making some room for for the smaller one we'll just cut the tips off of those so they don't grow over in there anytime soon let's look at this side really can't see anything in the way at this side I think that's okay for now. The only other thing we're going to do is we're just going to take out some of the dead branches near the bottom. Okay, another little one here. It's looking pretty good now. Okay. That's probably about all the work we're going to do with this cutting, at least at this time. I think we've uh, cut.
cut cut enough back here that that small cutting has a enough room now to develop on uh, both sides of the tree and to cont continue growing nice and straight now as far as the moss looking in here there's not a lot around the bottom but there is there is some that's starting to grow inside of here this is the first time that I've had to clean up in and around inside this one this uh, the moss in this planting here uh, probably it's only started it probably only started about a month ago there that's a lot better I'll keep that cleaned out underneath there that's pretty good I think I'm just gonna leave it just like that I like the moss on the rest of the soil because especially right now it's it's uh it's quite warm in the house and uh, these guys well not necessarily that it's really warm I guess I should say it's quite dry uh, with the winters here in Canada it can get quite cold here and with the cold it can get very dry and the lemon cypresses they like a, a damp soil so that with keeping it damp although I'm watering my trees at least every other day anyways I just wouldn't have to worry about these guys ever drying out and with the moss being on there it maintains the moisture longer right now it's warming up outside again getting more mild and then we're gonna have a freeze up again very soon here with some more snow so it doesn't look like winter's gonna be over anytime really soon but as far as the very dry air uh, it's gotten somewhat better because our temperatures aren't dipping down around minus 20 for about the last at least about week and a half or so so it's been better for having a little more moisture in our air and the trees always like that better well that's all the work that we're going to be doing on our lemon cypress cuttings I'm just going to put him back in there and there they are there we go Oh, I've got a little story to tell you guys, actually. I might as well just... Put this little guy in this video. This, uh, this is a little geranium. And, uh, <laughs> there's a funny little story on this guy. We had a geranium... That we were going to bring inside this year and it didn't quite make it uh, we left it outside too long in the frost we went to bring it inside even though it had pretty much froze I thought that maybe we could revive it but it didn't work out that way 
So after about a, I think it was about a two or three week period of having it in the house, I just decided to throw it away. And this is probably back in about November. And just as I was going to throw it away, I seen this very small little sprout sprouting. And the seed that it was sprouting from was actually just on top of the soil. So I went to grab it and look at it. And I seen there was just a couple very small little white roots on it. So I thought, well, this is really neat. I'm just going to plant this in this container right here, which is where one of the other lemon cypress cuttings was planted that didn't make it. And I thought, I'll just see what it grows up to be. And it looked like a, an apple seed, is what it looked like, a small, uh, very dark looking seed. It looked just like an apple seed, but a darker color. So after it started to grow, it had very, very small leaves on it. Those, uh, well, those original leaves, I believe, are these larger ones here. And um, it was really not much bigger than my, than my fingernail. And now it's grown into this. And after looking at the leaves as they got larger, I realized that it's a geranium. So I never really thought of a geranium bonsai at all. But since I've uh, started this right from a small seed, I thought that, well, I'm going to give it a chance. And I'm just going to just try to grow it and make it look like a small little tree. And we'll just see what happens. <laughs> if it turns out that I can't style it into a tree that I, that I like, it'll always make a, another great uh, planting for outside in the summertime for flowering. So we'll see what happens with it. I'll have a great day. And we'll talk to you guys soon.